Stas23 here, and today we have something pretty interesting and I'm pretty excited about this right here. I uh, saw on Instagram and I thought it looked really enticing. And what we have is a reblade from SG Knives. Here is the certificate of authenticity. It's an LMAX reblade for the small Sabenza 21. And it's not just a reblade. It's turning the Sabenza 21 into a bearing knife. It comes with these skiff bearings, and as you can see, it's milled for the bearing track inside there. Um, and I haven't measured how thin it is. It's a hollow grind. Hopefully it's a little thinner than the actual Sabenza 21 is. But he even crowned the spine up top, and his work looks pretty darn good. Can't wait to start testing this one out. So I figured I'd put it on and see if the action is any better uh, than mine is right now. There's a little patch from him. Um, my action on my small, so this is my user. I've been having this one, I think the longest. I put the double lugs on it myself and it's very, very smooth. Um, I can flip it out easily and it's just a very, very uh, nice hydraulic feeling on it. So I'm interested to see what this is gonna feel like with bearings and let's see if it helps the action out. I will uh, do this real quick. I will show y'all me disassembling it. I'm probably gonna do a time lapse because I don't want this video to be super long. So here is the knife, and man, oh man, I must say I'm super impressed. Comes with also titanium double lugs on here, and I was a little bit worried because whenever you go to this blade, it takes out that pivot bushing, and you know, I, I, I like the pivot bushing on the 21, that's why I love the 21, because um, a lot of them are a lot smoother than 31s. And uh, boy, I was wrong on this one. So let's check out this action. <laughs> yeah, it's still, you know, being that Chris Reeve knives uh, come with tons of lock bar pressure and the 21 had the clip sitting on here. Um, it's not really gonna ever be a free dropper, but I could not shake my other one closed. Let's see, I have a 31 right here. If you wanna look at the differences in blades, so they're pretty darn close, uh, except this one is so expensive and it only comes with one lug. Now you can buy the double lugs or you can do like me and just add them yourself. Um, these are way more comfortable than these really bulky, bulky studs. I mean, who thought that that was a good idea? Those are, Especially somebody like myself with, with tear, torn up hands. I'm gonna grab my caliper real quick and see the difference in uh, behind the edge thickness. All right, first let's check the 21. I know this one's at 22 degrees per side. And the SG Blades is also at, it's either, yeah, it was either 21 or 22 degrees. So my 31 is at Hold on. My 21's at around 20, hopefully I can see that. 20, probably 20 degrees per side. Hold on. I mean, 20 thousandths behind the edge, my bad. Now let's check this bad boy out. It feels thinner. Yeah, 15 degrees per side. So they're both, they both have a, around a 22 degrees per side edge bevel, 15, uh, thousands behind the edge and 20 thousands behind the edge. Now 20 thousands is not terrible, especially uh, on a hollow grind. So I'll be doing some testing with this one, uh, getting some good use out of it. 
And man, that sounds, that's so nice. I mean, I still, I like both actions. I still love the hydraulic feel of this one. Now this 31, I've, I've already come to the conclusion that these uh, special inlaid ones with like the brushed uh, tie and the blasted sides, I've already came to the conclusion that they put more finishing into these because I've never had one of these special ones that wasn't silky smooth. Now, unlike my uh, small 31 in Magna Cut, that thing came with a terrible action. And I, I opened and closed it for about two weeks and it didn't get any better, so I did it. I, I sped up the process a little bit and polished all the internals. And it's still nowhere near as close as smooth as this one or this 21 that I, had, that I have. Um, but man, this is on a whole new level. And uh, I don't know if I said the, I don't think I said the price. They're not cheap because, you know, he's, uh, it's a custom blade with a custom heat treat on it, LMAX steel. He's doing all this, the, the same detail work. Uh, he also had some different blade shapes, but unfortunately I missed out on those. He had some really cool, wicked looking blade shapes. He does them for the large as well. And this one, uh, without no crazy blade shape and without being Damascus, was 250 bucks. Yeah, I know that that wasn't cheap, but the Sabenza is not a cheap knife. So yeah, this one was uh, what 450 with the inlays at the time that I bought this one. So for so it's uh it's 700 dollar knife now. <laughs> so. Definitely love to hear y'all thoughts. I know anybody who, you know, doesn't, is not into the more expensive knives would definitely not be into this one. Um, but yeah, there you go. The only thing, let me see something. The only thing that I noticed that I like on this, this one more is you can see how they did the plunge grind way back here. So you have tons of sharpening life back here on uh, this one. Now on this one, the plunge comes down right here. So as you can see, it already started to widen up a little bit. I'm gonna have to either put a notch in there for the next time I sharpen it, or I'm gonna get a, a big smile back here. And I gotta be careful because in the closed position, that's where it's sitting. So I'll either have to put a notch right before it, which that's probably what I'll do, or just shave off a little bit of this, like make this angle a little bit, uh, make it go in a little bit. I don't know, we'll see whenever it gets there. Super sharp, it feels super sharp. Let's check that out. All right. <laughs> wow. Definitely uh, sharper than any Savenza I ever got out of the box. Let me know what y'all think. I will have a link uh, to SG Knives in the description if y'all want to check him out. I'll leave a link to his Instagram as well because you can go see all the, the sweet blade shapes he did. And I think he's uh, he has his books open to accept regrinds. I'm not, I mean, reblades. I'm not at 100%, but last time I checked, I think they were. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.